One of these has a bottle inside. The bottle has the razor sharp points. Apollo wants us to take turns jamming our hands into bags chosen at random, which means one of us might smash our hand on the broken bottle. Would you try this with me? <laughs> what series of bad decisions did I make to get me to this point in my life? <laughs> I don't want to smash the death of Ukraine. Can you uh, cover mine and I'll cover yours? Oh, God. Jason, if you would, uh, please choose one of the bags. Uh, go ahead and hold up to your left hand like this. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, how hard are you going to push down? If you, if you do this slowly, if you watch here, yeah. put your hand above, like this. God. <sighs> One, two, and three. God. I don't know if yeah. I want to play this game. OK. Um, let's use my left hand. Go ahead. Hold you like that. OK. Ready? Uh, one last choice. This is 50-50. We'll do it together. So we've done one each in both of our hands. Yeah. Can you uh, just grab hold of my wrist to pull that down? We'll just put your hand underneath. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. All right. No, one, no, 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 no. Two. God. God. <laughs> OK. Oh, God. Oh. OK, clearly that was a really intense experience for me. But why? Obviously, the rational side of me knew I wasn't in danger. I knew Apollo wouldn't let me get hurt, but along the way, he provided very powerful visual and descriptive cues that really built up my dread. All these moments that Apollo constructed caused my brain to second guess my rational thinking that I was safe. When he clamped his hand on mine and I knew it was too late to turn back, Powerful chemical changes started taking place in my body. My brain triggered the release of adrenaline and other stress hormones, causing those classic fear symptoms like sweaty palms and that tingling sensation that runs down your spine. While you probably won't find yourself forced to play Russian roulette with Apollo, there are many instances in your daily life where you experience dread. For many, boarding a plane, walking down a deserted street at night, or even the sound of a dentist's drill can trigger this biological fear response. If just thinking about this is causing you dread and making you feel like your brain is working against you, we're about to show how your brain is actually looking out for you. Stop. Pay attention. You're about to go on a scavenger hunt in a haunted house. See if you can spot the following objects hidden in the rooms. Look out for the palm tree, rubber chicken, crown, photograph, rat, guitar, watermelon, name tag, and bride and groom. Ready? Go. So how did you do? How many items did you spot? Here's where they